So I've been playing some good old War Thunder recently, and I thought to myself, I have an okay PC, I guess, and I kind of want to have a better graphic experience. You know, the graphics haven't really changed since, uh, ever. So some guy said I should download a bigger version of War Thunder because it has better graphics, and that's exactly what I did. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the so you're probably wondering which one's the best to use, and is there really a difference between all of them? And the answer is really, eh. For this experiment, I'll be using an NVIDIA 3070 Ti, a Ryzen 5 5600X, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. This easily should allow me to run War Thunder at every max setting, as shown below. So first things first, I downloaded separate versions of War Thunder's clients. Um, I really chose the ones that people really care about most which most people have the full client which is 40 gigabytes I also compared it to the Ultra HQ uh, models which is 75 gigabytes see if there's any difference there and then lastly I downloaded the full Ultra HQ which is 93 gigabytes to see if there's any really visual difference any performance difference and first thing I chose to do was the um, check out the benchmark and when it came to that I chose tank battle um, mostly because that's the only live action type of uh, mode where there's tanks that are driving around exploding and that really gives your PC run over its money to see how good it can run and when it came to the performances of each client with the same test there really wasn't a difference surprisingly as you can see there's really no difference between um, each client when it comes to the benchmark test again this might differ between PCs because again I'm running with a pretty good system so there might be a difference for you but as you can see there's really no difference when it comes to the performance I also did the same for the CPU test which I'm presuming is running your CPU a little more harder and again there is no difference I mean I don't really have the greatest of all time CPU I have a pretty good one but again there's no difference so it may be up to your PC if there is but yeah there's no difference when it comes to here <laughs> So you're probably thinking to yourself, if there's a huge difference in size, there must be a pretty big significant difference between graphics, and that's not really the case. As you can see, uh, I did again another benchmark, which was a still image to really see what's the graphic difference between all three. Again, all three clients are ran on max um, graphics performance, and as you can see, there's really no difference. The only little difference I did see are about like four things. One being the smoke on the tank's exhaust. It seems to be a lot better in the HQ uh, Full Ultra. Um, I also notice slightly with the clouds in the Full Ultra that they seem to be a little more independent of each other than not just one big blob. Um, I also notice third thing would be the colors. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but the bushes seems in Ultra HQ um, are just a little lighter, as well as the tanks. Their colors are a little different. And lastly, it seems a terrain, there's like some water uh, puddles all around on the Full Ultra HQ. Um, not, not really a big difference, but again, for like 30 gigabytes, there's, there's like no difference. To really show there's very little differences, I had a software go and um, actually check to see differences. And as you can see, there's like nothing like physical. Yeah, sure, there's like some things with the trees, but again, I'm guessing that's probably like the patterns because not every single picture, especially when it's a still image with FPS and all that stuff, is going to be the same. It does detect some of that water I was talking about on the ground, but again, there's no differences when it comes to like the textures on the buildings, you know, terrain, the clouds, especially clouds. There's nothing, so it's kind of crazy. I also tried um, going into game to see if there's any. Uh, visual difference in game compared to you know benchmarks and I've never been good at finding Waldo as a kid and I don't know if that's the issue again but I don't see any difference now again these pictures are not a hundred percent identical because I had to take them on two different instances but again I don't see any difference uh, I look at the rocks nothing uh, trees terrain buildings and there's no difference I also did a comparison during the day seeing if there's any difference and the only difference I noticed is just the colors it seems everything on the right's a little more darker um, kind of like the Mexico um, 
thing that they use in cinema, but aside from terrain and any actual differences, I don't really see any. In short, based on my own experiences and tests, I really don't see a difference between really um, Ultra HQ and high quality models. Um, but there is a big difference kind of between full client and the 95 gigabyte option. So um, you're not really losing much either way you go. Don't get me wrong, you will see some differences between you know, full client and the largest option. But again, they're not something you'll really notice unless you're really paying attention. You know, like, oh, how's my smoke look? Or how's this and that? So I would really recommend probably the best option uh, would be the middle one. Mostly because it just has better terrain than full client because full client doesn't really have the water and I think it kind of looks cooler. But um, if you have extra room, then well, you might as well get the biggest option. So I um, hope this video was helpful. If you notice any differences because, you know, I'm not very good and don't have my glasses on, leave it in the comments and I hope this video helped. Bye.